guys, what's going on? My name is Cole, and some new news has just been released recently. Ben Affleck has decided to step down from the role of Batman in favor of a more younger version of Batman for their new Batman movie slated to come out in 2021. So in this video, we are going to be talking about the actors we think can take the mantle of the Cape Crusader and Vigilante, known as Batman. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. But before we get started, make sure you guys go check out the official FilmArtsy Instagram at FilmArtsy Official for all updates on films and TV. Now let's get into the video. Just as a disclaimer, this list is in no particular order, and if there is someone you think should be on this list and is not, let us know down below. Also, let us know, do you think the changes to DC could save the DC movie universe? Now while you're down there, why don't you like the video? It'll mean a lot to us. Now starting off the video, we have Shia LaBeouf. Now I know, I know, I know, I know, trust me, I know. This would be a horrible choice on account of his past and how much of a meme he has become. But if Shia wanted to suit up as the masked vigilante, we think he could very well pull it off. And it could be a really good version of young Bruce Wayne. Let's take a look at some of the roles that demonstrate his acting skills. This car, check it out. I don't know, boss. I've never seen that. That's local. Don't go Ricky Ricardo on me, man. He found out. Feels good. How much? Well, considering the semi-classic nature of the vehicle, with the slick wheels and the custom paint job. Yeah, but the, the paint's faded. Yeah, but it's coming. Right, you mother where are you? Where are you? Yeah, just hold it right there, Jack. Right, you bastard. Watch out. You looking for me, son? Stop! Brakes! Deputy! Stand down, Deputy! You are one stupid boy! Put down your weapon. Next up, we have an actor who is revered for roles in John Wick and The Matrix. We are talking about Keanu Reeves. While he does not fit the part of being young in that aspect, he could definitely play Batman on account of his superb acting skills. He is honestly revered for being as badass in movies, and he could play anyone and make them look cool. Now let's look at some of Keanu's top moments. Next, we have an actor who has served a lot of time in the Fox Marvel Universe and is well known for his role of Magneto in the X-Men movies. We are of course talking about Michael Fassbender, even though Ian McKellen is an amazing Magneto. Anyways, we believe Michael Fassbender can bring a different approach to the character, a darker approach from the darker comic versions of Batman. Let's take a look at Michael's best moments in movies. With you. Don't buy the address. No, so far. Pas ce genre de banque. Des clombages en métal, hein? Pas en or. On a peur que quelqu'un veut les vol. Quand est-ce que tu? Et dans la zone? Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Communication, Captain. Breathe on the nostrils of a horse, and he'll be yours for life. But you have to get close. You have to earn its respect. No! Up next, even though this actor has played in the role of Batman before and is beloved by all, we still think he has what it takes to play the role of Batman, even if he doesn't want to play the role. We are talking about Christian Bale. Again, we know he has played the role of the Masked Vigilante, and this universe of Batman introduced one of the best iterations of the Joker we have ever seen. While Heath Ledger may be dead, his legacy of being the best Joker still lives on. Now let's look at what makes Christian Bale one of the best choices to play Batman. Made it. Stay in. Get up, free boy. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. 
Is it really painful? You're very welcome to try it, Alfred. Happy watching. Thank you, sir. Now we know this actor has been in the DC Universe before, however there was a case of Chris Evans being two different heroes within the Marvel Universe. While they are two separate Marvel Universes, they were still close to the same universe, and he did a good job with both parts, even if Fantastic Four was a Hollywood flop. But in this case we are talking about Henry Seville. Now we would like him to remain playing Superman, but we think he could play a really good alternate universe Batman. Now let's take a look at some of his best scenes. Oh, there he is. It's not worth it, sweetie. Hey, asshole, don't forget your tip. <laughs> Next, we have someone who may not look the part for darker Batman, however he has showed interest in playing the part of young Bruce Wayne and we think he could play the role of Batman in his younger years. Who knows, he could evolve himself to fit the role for future movies. We are now talking about Nick Jonas who on Twitter stated he would like to fill Ben's shoes and take on the role. Now as many people know, Batman needs to stop getting new actors and stick with one for the foreseeable future. We think that he might have what it takes to start a legacy playing the billionaire crime fighter, but here are some of his best scenes from the movies he's been in. Guys, I've been trying to get across this canyon for like 20 years, okay? Do you realize how huge this is? Mosquito. No, no, no! Alex, no, no, Alex? no, 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 no! Uh, Alex! Alex! No! Alex, talk to Alex. me! Alex! Wake up! Here we go! He's dying! No, we can't let him die! We're too close! Alex, if I can fight those guys, you can fly this helicopter. I know you can. Come on. Alex. This is where we need you. Remember, you're the missing piece. Seaplane McDonough, reporting for duty. Let's go, people. Up next, this actor portrays an animated raccoon in the MCU, just won't shut up at the worst times. So now that we have told you the piece of information that many of you have puzzled together, to get the conclusion that we are in fact talking about Bradley Cooper. Although he is known for his more comedic roles in movies such as The Hangover and other comedy based movies, he is also known for more serious movies in movies such as American Sniper and Silver Linings Playbook. He could also give the role hints of comedy for when he's not suited up as Batman. Now let's take a look at some of his best scenes. Hold on, I got a woman and a kid 200 yards out moving towards the convoy. Her arms aren't swinging, she's carrying something. Oh. Oh, oh, Quit smiling, you idiot. You're supposed to be a professional. You gotta be kidding. Now we can't wait to see this actor portray his role as the villain known as Mysterio in the new Spider-Man movie labeled Spider-Man Far From Home. We are of course talking about Jake Gyllenhaal. Originally back when the Dark Knight movies were coming out, Jake was going to play the role of Bruce Wayne. Now we know this didn't happen as the universe of its movies had Christian Bale playing the role of Bruce Wayne and Batman. But it's been recently seen that Jake Gyllenhaal has been in contact with Matt Reeves, so there's a chance that we could see Jake Gyllenhaal play the Dark Knight in this new movie. So let's take a look 
at some of Jake Gyllenhaal's best scenes. The name of my company is Video Production News, a professional news gathering service. That's how it should be read and that's how it should be said. I also want to go to the next rung and meet your team and the station manager and the director and the anchors and start developing my own personal relationships. I'd like to start meeting them this morning. You'll take me around, you'll introduce me as the owner and president of Video Production News and remind them of some of my many other stories. I'm not done. I also... If it went to trial, all the defense would have to do is call Sherwood to the stand. And there was no way of getting Alan into court in the first place because there was no evidence, Robert. What do you mean there's no evidence? You have him seen with the ciphers, the military boot prints, the same size shoes and gloves, the most dangerous game, the Zodiac watch, the background with school children, the, the misspellings of Christmas, the bloody knife. All circumstantial. Paul Stein's shirt, his wallet, his key. Well guys, that's it. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit the like button down below and subscribe for more. And we'll see you all in the next video. Also, let us know, who do you think is going to be the next Batman? Let us know. You guys can click the link in the description. We really want to see what kind of talent you guys can provide. So let us know. Send us an email and we'll check out your videos and we'll see you all in the next video. I'm Sorry about to. Hi, everybody. Hey, everybody. How you doing? Hi. 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 <laughs> 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 see you guys.